So, here's my meatloaf. Let me get here. So, here is my meatloaf, guys. Like I said, I didn't use any ketchup because I'm going to, um, I'm using gravy. But I'm just showing you guys how it's looking. And now I'm making the gravy on top of the stove. And, um, instead of using water to make the gravy, I drain the meatloaf and use that liquid. Okay, so, and I'm just going to pour it all over the top of here. So let me go over here to the stove and show you guys what that's looking like. See, it's fully cooked. And I let it went an hour and a half. Well, I cooked it for an hour and a half. 350. Okay. All right. Let me go check on the gravy. So here's the gravy right here, guys. I just want it to thicken up a little bit more. So yeah, I just did like a easy gravy. Um, I made a roux, flour and butter, and just added the um, hot liquids from the meatloaf in here. And I seasoned it with some um, onion and garlic powder. A little black pepper and a tab a pinch of um, pink salt that's it all right it's thickened now so I'm gonna pour it all over my meatloaf all right so let me shut it off and I will be back So, as I was saying, guys, we're having meatloaf with the blueberry cornbread. Let's see if I can show y'all my broccoli. My broccoli here, I just steamed it. And mashed potatoes. You've seen the cornbread, right? <laughs> okay. So... I got my timer on. I'm going to let this here just um, go for another mm, three minutes. Okay. Okay, so we're over here. I'm trying to, I'm going to try and scoop this gravy over this without making a mess. Okay. So let's see how this go. Ooh. And I gotta save some for the mashed potatoes. But I made, I think it's enough for two cups though. Alright. So I am out. And I'll show you guys pictures. Okay. But there's my gravy. And there's my meatloaf with gravy. All right, guys, I am out, so cheers.